the original plan was to have 50% of the fees burn and 50% go to the validators and the validators were the miners, which to me made perfect sense. And that seemed like such a cool idea and everything, but the, uh, the change of plan was then that they allowed some staking in order that you could get kind of a stable token on smart BCH, which they said was to do with, we, they, they didn't get as much uptake from the miners as they thought initially, I think was part of the problem, but I don't know, maybe just the miners just weren't aware or like, it seemed weird to me that they would then switch it up and go for this proof of stake hybrid staking system. Uh, but, you know, on the other hand, they've been the ones running the system and observing it. And if they think that's a better direction, sort of got to got to trust their instinct because we're not really in a position where anybody else is going to come, even though the code is all open source. And it's true that somebody else, if they thought they had a better right handle of, oh, the miners need this incentive or that incentive, they could just fork everything and do it. But that's a mammoth task and not like it's a BCH is already a small enough ecosystem. You're not going to get anybody, especially with that amount of very, very deep knowledge come in and, and do a different version. So I don't know. I don't, I don't really know what they're up to.